What's up smart people, Safari Tech here once again and in this video I'm going to show you how to cut someone's internet connection off. Now I want to mention that this is for educational purposes only to show you guys how cybersecurity works, how you can cut someone's connection without even being the uh, owner of a router or something like that. Don't use it for any malicious intent, that's all I got to say. So before we start, I'd like to show you a diagram and uh, help you understand our structure here. Um, we're gonna be using a router, which in my case is a hotspot from a phone. And uh, it's no different from a real router. I just wanted to let you know this. So pretend it's a real router. And on the left side here, this is our computer, the one I'm using right now. And popping up right now is the computer that we're gonna be cutting um, their internet connection very very soon here and on the right side these two are not really um, important I just put them just to make it look like a real life scenario one of them is a Linux Mint machine uh, and the other one is an iPhone you're definitely not gonna hack anything with a regular iPhone so it's not guilty um, unless you jailbreak it or something so um, let's get started. I'll open my Google Chrome here and I've already typed in netcut. You need to do that and open the archive.com website and on the top here if you're using Mac Windows you need to click on that link. Android you have an opportunity to do that as well and I'm sure you can figure it out by just finishing watching this video. So I'll click on netcut here and it has downloaded. So I already had one setup of it, um, but it's not installed. So I go ahead and install it. I accept the agreement, next, next, install. Just regular installation, right? And you're gonna install WinPCAP, which is a framework that is used to uh, block that connection using address resolution protocol. Um, and, um, yeah, once you do that, it will pop up, open this um, for any time in the future. Let's show you how to open it, Netcut. It's just on your desktop, all right? Um, I'll say you no, know, I will restart, start the computer later because a lot of those files are already configured. But for you, you might want to restart it before you can actually block people. A double click will actually open it. And let's take a look at this with the diagram again desktop 8br whatever the heck that thing is is the computer that we're gonna be blocking the one getting cut soon and this is the router okay this is our computer it's on the right side because um it's part of the trusted users which means um we're not gonna want to cut ourselves and mint is the linux machine linux laptop and there is um the other one probably went offline. Oh, there it is. Before I cut, let's pop up the other computer here in real time and see what is going on. So this is the other computer. Google Chrome is open here and I'll click on any of those hot links and you'll see that there is actual internet connection. Um, and actually now we're going to cut the network connection by um, dragging this over there once we drag it over there it's gonna load up a little bit give it some time and with the red Wi-Fi symbol it should mean that it is blocked let's test this on our other computer, the victim computer, we're going to click on one of those tabs. And as you can see, it's taking forever to load, which means it doesn't have a network connection. So, um, yeah, that's is, this is how you uh, cut someone's internet connection off. We could just open a new tab here and... I hit google.com, no internet, so I've successfully cut uh, their internet connection. Now, a couple things I want you to notice here, I'll bring back the diagram, is that 
we have zero control over this like we're not the admin of the router the router can be any router for from anyone's home from a restaurant or anything but we took control over that and blocked the connection so you can do that about anywhere except with uh, a certain protected Wi-Fi which I'll talk about how to prevent this later and um, these two other ones they can be victims as well drag them here and it's done um, I'm not gonna show you because I don't want to record their screen and just do all that but you can see if I allow um, if I allow that machine again let's pull it up You can see it has internet connection again and everything just works very well so um how do you prevent this right how this is the big question here how do you prevent an attack like this best way is to just turn defender on okay on netcut just use the same app you turn defender on then you save another way you can do that um is if you're a it person you can use vlan virtual lan to segment uh to do network segmentation look it up right now if you don't know much about the topic and that will help you as well and i will add another part to this video's end where i test with vpn to see if vpn prevents that from happening or a uh, firewall um and it's coming up right now so very very good news a VPN helps prevent that as you can see our VPN is running here and on the computer it's taking forever to block the connection which it's never going to and if I switch to a browser here you'll see that we have still have network connection so I'd say a VPN is better because it has many more benefits choosing different locations, protecting yourself online. Um, just make sure you got the right protocol as well. We're using this one, IKE V2 on port 500. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to learn more about VLAN, let me know in the comments below and ARP as well. If you just want to know the background works behind this, just let me know in the comments and I'll make a special video about that. Subscribe if you haven't, like the video to help the channel grow, and that's it for me.